Tropical Storm Gordon continues here to push northwest right through the Gulf of Mexico. We are expecting a landfall tonight and possibly as a Category 1 hurricane as it moves closer to New Orleans and also near Mobile, Alabama. We are going to be dealing with some gusty winds, some severe weather potentially, and some flooding. Along with that comes a little bit of a storm surge, but that northeast heat continues as well. So here is the view of Tropical Storm Gordon from about that late morning time frame. You can see that the Gulf Coast is located here. here Here's New Orleans and then Mobile, Alabama located there. So again, we're getting uh, pretty close to the storm system, at least some of the outer bands starting to uh, impact some of the bigger cities. We'll be watching this again over the next 6 to 12 hours. But uh, here from Mobile and Pensacola, uh, we are under those hurricane warnings, especially from Mobile, Biloxi, and then you head farther west near New Orleans. Those are tropical storm warnings. So as we look at the storm system here itself, the official track from the National Hurricane Center does show that becoming a category Category 1 storm prior to landfall and then kind of meandering up through the central U.S. as we head into the end of the week. So there's the storm. You can see that the outer bands will be impacting the coastline here through the evening hours and then early morning hours uh, tomorrow. You can see that things kind of wind down. However, still picking up some decent rain on your Biloxi and Mobile. Things will be winding down in New Orleans. And then off to the east, we have Hurricane Florence. Florence actually becoming a hurricane as of last update. Should be diminishing, though, as we head into our midweek time frame. And then in the uh, eastern Pacific, we're still tracking Olivia and Norman. Olivia is tracking to the northwest now as a hurricane. And we also have hurricane status with Norman. But thankfully, that'll be lifting north away from the Hawaiian Islands uh, later this week. It's still very hot in the northeast. A number of heat advisories. 103 is what it'll feel like in Philly and D.C. Severe weather today in the uh, Midwest and also into the Great Lakes tomorrow. But heavy rain is on the way with several inches possible and more flooding.